Rachel. I'm one of the chefs here at the Union House. This week we are featuring a chef's dinner put together by myself uh, with influences from my childhood and from my time working as a French chef. I started my training at MATC in Milwaukee and from there I started working at Pastiche Bistro in the Bayview neighborhood in Milwaukee. I was with that company for almost 10 years before coming to the Union House last October. And the food is inspired by some of my favorite dishes that my mom would make when we were kids. I've been influenced a lot by the people in my family that love to cook. We do have two cocktails in this dinner. The spaghetti is kind of a fun cocktail. It is a ice cold delicious Miller High Life with a shot of Aperol and a little twist of lemon. So that kind of pays homage to my uh, Iowa roots. My family is very much beer and shot kind of people. So you take the beer, you add a little shot of the nice um, Aperol uh, liqueur and, and there you go, you have a little cocktail. I love tomatoes. I have like a love affair with tomatoes. My grandmother had a, a little garden when we were kids and I would run through her garden and just pluck tomatoes out of the garden and pop them right in my mouth. And so our first course is a tomato salad that really highlights that. The cocktail we're doing is a Lille Martini. Um, that plays to kind of my French influence in my cooking. Lille is a French aperitif with floral and herbal notes. That pairs nicely with the herbal notes we're gonna get from the tomato salad. And that other dish my mom used to make that was one of my favorites was her crab manicotti. So I've taken it and elevated it a little bit with some fresh house-made pasta, a vanilla bean bro blanc, and we've added lobster claws to the mixture. Um, we're pairing that with a lovely Chablis from France. Chablis really highlights the seafood flavors and it, the acidity cuts through the fattiness of the sauce and pairs nicely with the seafood. The third course is a seared foie gras and duck confit on a spinach tartlet. This is kind of my play on liver and onions, which we had a lot as children. The foie gras is a fattened duck liver. It's got a nice, really luxurious texture and flavor profile. And then when my mom would make liver and onions, we would always have it with steamed spinach. So I really elevated it by making a little uh, spinach tartlet with some brown butter, some olive oil, and it has almost like a cracker-like crust. And then I love rosé. The sweetness and the acidity is gonna kinda cut through the fattiness that you get out of the foie gras. And for dessert, my favorite dessert my mom would make when we were kids was strawberry shortcake. We're going to soak the strawberries in some balsamic vinegar to do a little sweet savory thing. The whipped cream that you would usually have, we're gonna mimic that with a goat cheese mousse because I love cheese. Uh, from moving to Wisconsin, I fell in love with cheese. I make a lot of my own cheese and it's one of my passions. And that we're ending with one of my favorite domestic sparkling wines is the uh, Schramsberg Blanc de Blanc out of California. So we're finishing with that. The Union House has been uh, great. It's a, a fun family atmosphere. Uh, we all work together very well. It's nice to be a little bit further out of the city because you get a different crowd of people, you get a different atmosphere, you get a whole different uh, way of life really when you're not in the middle of the city.